Uh, let's go to our next guest. He's been the bad boy of Ramsey Street for 35 years. Absolutely amazing. Mm. Since 1985. Yeah, Paul Robinson has schemed against his fellow residents, made his way through six soap marriages, even found himself at the centre of a huge whodunit mystery. Yeah, he's played the Neighbours legend since the show's very first episode. Going to be talking to him next, but first, here's a look back at his best bits. Live from yes. Melbourne, let's go and see Stefan uh, there himself. Stefan, my friend, very good to see you. Hi. Very good and very much alive. <laughs> good man, good man. Um, right, so all, all the soaps here, they're in lockdown, nothing's happening uh, at the moment. You guys are going to be back filming on set, uh, paving the way. Um, tell us a bit about that. Yeah, it's, amazing. It's, it's almost like a 35th uh, birthday present for us, isn't it? Because, of course, this is our 35th anniversary. And, uh, but it's, it's really weird. It's, it's, uh, on one hand, it's fantastic because we've got the opportunity to go back to work. And little did we know that we've actually, the, the production of Neighbours has pretty much paved the way with this blueprinted model that we're, uh, that we're doing now because we're back at work. Um, uh, to uh, to pave the way for other productions all around the world, not just in Australia and, and Melbourne, but all around the world. We um, I was talking to my good mate Alan Dale the uh, week before last, and uh, uh, he was saying he every week, because uh, he works on, on the show Dynasty, or Dynasty as they call it over there, and he said uh, every week they have, while, they, while they're in lockdown, a um, conference call, a Zoom call, uh, where all the cast and I think heads of departments sort of just have, have a catch up. And he was saying that the uh, hot topic of the Zoom uh, conference that the day before, I think it was, was actually uh, all about neighbours. They were talking, it, it was the hot topic. And of course, we had uh, the New York Times interviewers, we had the Bloomberg uh, Review, we had all of these newspapers all around the world uh, uh, chasing us because we're the hot topic. Yeah. And I have to say, it's working. It's what, actually what, working. Yeah, but how are, they, how are they doing it, Stefan? Because, you know, so many people are going, well, how on earth can you have soaps? All those kind of storylines, makeup um, artists, makeup artists costume department. He's... It's it's like walking into a surgery. When you walk into the makeup department, it's like we're walking into a uh, a surgery because you've got the makeup artist with uh, rubber gloves and it's, and uh, and masks and full gowns and and uh, same with the uh, the wardrobe or the costume department. They have to be masked and gloved and uh, obviously we have to keep the the uh, one and a half meter distance rule. That is extremely strict. What we've done is we've actually broken the studios up into four groups or four teams. Uh, which are all colour coded, and we literally, if, if you're in Team A, which is uh, the blue team, as opposed to blue uh, Team B, which is the yellow team, that we cannot cross over. And it's really weird because when my son was working on the show a couple of weeks ago, he was at work and I was at work, and I couldn't even see him. And not, yeah. not, it wasn't just that I wasn't working with him; I couldn't even see him because he was on one side of the building and I was on the other. Yeah, so you and can't... we have. But, um, the cast, I would, because you know, you're a close cast as we know, but so you can't have your yeah. kind of green room anymore, you can't get together in the canteens, you don't really see each other in that social no, way. No, we do. We do, but it's very, very strict social distancing rules in place. Uh, we have, I mean, we have medical uh, officers and a nurse who does a temperature check. You're not even allowed into the, the building. You can come into the compound as long as you don't get out of your car, but you can't enter the building without being temperature checked by the nurse and given the all clear. Um, you uh, and the the alleyways are divided in half, like so. All the hallways are divided in half, and you have to keep uh, well to the wall, so you have that distance. Um, so but it's uh, so, so we we do see other cast members and other people, and of course, when you're in the studio, it's inevitable that you have to. We, we're still working, but we there's no touching. There's only a certain amount of actors in a set okay. at one time. But is it inevitable, Stefan, that uh, the the COVID situation, the pan situation being played out in real life do we want this is a great debate you and i were talking about do this you do you actually to want to see it reflected in your soap or are you, are you reflecting it in any of the storylines well, and that's a question that's been asked both of, of uh, cast members myself included uh but more particularly jason and nat who are our producers and executive producer and andrew we um we, it's a funny old thing because we're working on a soap and we, we film three months ahead. Um, I mean, it's a different story when you're making a, f a film which might not get released for a year or two years. 
but it's about a particular story, whereas Neighbours is carrying on with day-to-day uh, -day life. And so, you know, we're hoping that by the time uh, an a, a episode that we filmed today, for example, or this will, we, when it goes to air, we, we're certainly hoping that the COVID situation has well and truly calmed down and, and things are well and truly uh, on the way to normal. So I think I think in the, the eyes of the producer, they don't want to sort of just keep carrying on the idea and that and, uh, and, and let everybody move on. Mm. Um, you... So that's a, that's a no. COVID not represented really in the that'll, plot. That'll be a big no then. <laughs> big no. Now, see, I think that's very interesting because there is talk here about showing it in Coronation Street yeah. and East Enders, whatever. And yeah. I I agree with Stefan. I just think you you got to assume the world moves on. Or I mean, you wouldn't go and watch a movie and expect it unless it was set in 2020 mm -hmm. to reflect that. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, you mentioned your son there, your son Declan. Um, I, I gather he's, yes. he's with you, isn't he? Is he going to come and Say hello. That's where we, we share something in common because uh, Eamon's son Eamon's Declan got a Declan. as well. Eamon's yes. got a Declan. Yeah. Good sign name, a good yeah. sign name. Isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Well, we, we, we bummed out though because uh, my wife's Scottish. We were going to go for all Scottish names for the children. Um, and, it was, uh, and we have Cameron as our firstborn. And we were going to go for Callum. Uh, uh, for Declan's name, and then we thought Cameron Callum. Nah, that's just not going to work when you're yelling at them from the other side of the yard. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, so he became Declan. Good Irish name. Good Irish Good name. name. Well done. Well done. And is he there, Declan? He is. Come is on in. Come on Come in, down, Declan. Hi, Declan. Hello. Hi. Good to see you. Um, so you are now joining Neighbours, is that right? Have you done any scenes yet? Um, and how long is uh, this yes. your character going to be there? Do you think? Uh, not long. He's not a very big character at the moment, but he could be. Um, and I've done all my scenes. I'm done filming. You've done filming? OK. Well, oh, we're we, gonna, we've got it. We're going to have a look mm. and then we'll talk to you about it. Here we go. It, it. Daddy, could I say he has your hair from all those years ago? There's no <laughs> doubt about it. Daddy's, uh, what do you mean all those years ago? I'm still doing all right. <laughs> still doing OK. Uh, but can I do... Did you realise? Bad boy. Yes. Chip off yeah. the old block. I was going to say. And, and, and Declan, so it, are you pursuing an acting career or is this just something they've, you know, a kind of one-off for you? Uh, this was something that just came up. I didn't really have a profile on any online things. I didn't even have an agent. Uh, but this is probably something that I will pursue. And how do you feel about that, Stefan, if, they, if your son going into the same business? Because it's not always easy, is it? No, it's not. And, and uh, fortunately, I, uh, I, I'm able to pass on the same advice my dad passed on to me, to all of them, because my uh, eldest son, Cameron, is very interested in acting as well. Um, and he, But he's going to uh, get law behind him. He wants to go into law. Uh, Declan, my other son here, he's uh, he's got another string to his bow, but he's uh, he wants to possibly pursue acting. But I, as I said, it's always get something else to fall back on because it's such an insecure business. Yeah. Well, Show well, business full stop, not just acting. Do you have something else to fall back on? Or <laughs> did you ever have... Yeah. What? I'm a chef. Whoa! <laughs> that's, that's what that's you need. I could never go on. <laughs> that's what we need in lockdown. Listen, we've got to go now. Um, but it's really good to talk to you both and uh, looking forward to seeing your character, Declan. And also, can we say, Stefan, um, happy anniversary to you and Gail, which I believe was oh, your yes. 20th? 20 years this year, yeah. Hard to believe. 20 uh, years. Oh, oh lovely. We're looking at oh, lovely oh, picture. Yeah, very nice. Happy anniversary and love to all the family. Stay Thank safe, you. won't you? Good seeing you, Declan. Thank Thanks you very guys. much. See Thanks, you. guys. Bye. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.